Hello everybody! It's time to get together again and do some wonderful singing. Today we'll be talking a lot about God's creation, specifically his animals and plants. So we'll be looking forward to that. But first, let's sing our hello song. So here we go. Hello everybody. Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? It's so good to see you. Let's sing and be happy that we're all back together again. we have to sing hola hola started right away with our devotion for the day and it is called all creatures of our God and King and we'll hear the song in just a little bit but first let me read to you praise whether we sing it or shout it our God is worthy of it for all the stars he placed in the evening sky oh praise him for the silvery moon that lights our way at night, oh, praise him. Let the zebra praise him for his stripes and the lion for his roar. Let, his, let us praise him for who he is. He is the creator of all things. We thank him for all he has done. Alleluia is a Hebrew word that means praise the name of God. Have you ever praised God with a song? Let's all praise the Lord by singing Alleluia. And we will be singing that Alleluia in a song right now. And let me just give you our scripture verse for first. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. And that is from Psalm 9, verse 1. So we're going to hear a song right now called All Creatures of Our God and King. You're going to get a chance to see the words and listen. There are three verses.
look who joined us for our session today. If it happens to be Lassie. And Lassie, um, you might be hearing a little from her today because uh, my son moved in with me over the past few days and he brought his cat, Corbin Dallas, along with him. And so the two, the dog and the cat, are trying to get used to each other and it's pretty funny to see. So Lassie came and jumped up on my lap during the song. She's going to get down now because she is one of God's critters. And remember, I taught you a song, All God's Critters Got a Place in the Choir. And critters is another word for creatures. And we just heard that word, all creatures of our God and King. Lassie happens to be one of those creatures and so does Corbin Dallas. So I'm going to put her down right now because we're going to do All God's Critters Got a Place in the Choir. And today, instead of playing my guitar, I'm going to show you the pictures of the animals. Sometimes the pictures will be moving quite fast, so I'm going to start here. But, you know, before I even start, I forgot that I want to remind you what the actions are. All God's Critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire, and some just clap their hands or pause, or anything they've got now. So when we sing the refrain, we sing those words, make sure you try and do the actions while I hold the cards for all the animals that we're going to hear about today. All right, here we go. I'll start by singing. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low. Some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they've got now. Now I'll sing about those animals. Listen to the bass, it's the one on the bottom where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus moans and groans with a big to-do and the old cow just goes moo. All right, let's sing and do the actions. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they've got now. The dogs and the cats, they take up the middle while the honeybee hums and the cricket fiddles. The donkey brays and the pony neighs and the old coyote howls. All right, give it your best shot for the howl. Here we go. Ow, 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 ow! And let's sing. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they've got now. All right, we're going to be singing about some more animals right now. Here we go. Listen to the top where the little birds sing on the melodies. With the high notes ringing, the hutawa hollers over everything, and the jaybird disagrees. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they've got now. Singing in the night time, singing in the day. The little duck quacks and he's on his way. The possum doesn't have much to say. And the porcupine talks to himself. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they've got now. It's a simple song of living sung everywhere by the ox and the fox and the grizzly bear, the grumpy alligator and the hawk above, the sly raccoon and the turtle dove. All right, here we go. 
one more time. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or pause or anything they've got now. Very good. I hope you did all of those actions. Excellent work. Well, now we're going to do a song called Heaven is a Wonderful Place. If you recall, I taught you this song a few weeks ago. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to put the words up for you again so you can see them. And it's got that word, Alleluia, in it. And remember, Alleluia means praise the name of God. So here's how this song goes. We're going to show you the words while I'm singing it. All right, here we go. Heaven is a wonderful place Filled with glory and grace I want to see my Savior's face Cause heaven is a wonderful place Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia My readers out there go to the top of the paper again heaven is a wonderful place and I'm going to pretend that I can hear you singing nice and strong heaven is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace I want to see my Savior's face cause heaven is a wonderful place got a lot of great readers out there. Well, the next song that we are going to do is one that you're going to have to stand up for because you'll be doing a lot of actions. We're going to sing about several different animals and I will show you a picture of each animal that we are going to sing about because we're going to be singing about going to the zoo. We're going to pretend that mama's going to take us to the zoo tomorrow and we can stay all day. I'll sing this part for you. I'll go through it twice before I tell you what animals we're going to sing about. So, here we go. Here's the first part of the song. Mama's gonna take me to the zoo tomorrow. Zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow. Mama's gonna take me to the zoo tomorrow. We can stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo. You try and sing it with me. Mama's gonna take me to the zoo tomorrow. Mama's gonna take me to the zoo tomorrow. Zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow. Mama's gonna take me to the zoo tomorrow. We can stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to the first animal we're going to be is an elephant. This one is specifically an African elephant. You can tell because this elephant has the larger flappy ears. This is the African elephant. So let's pretend to be an elephant by swinging our trunks. Look at all the elephants swinging their trunks, swinging their trunks, swinging their trunks. Look at all the elephants swinging their trunks. We can stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to, to, to. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. The next animal happens to be 
a Siberian tiger. Now tigers, when they're looking for their food, they prowl. And when they're prowling, they're so very quiet. They cannot make any sounds at all. So when you are getting down on your hands and knees, or even if you're just standing, make sure that you're so very quiet so no one can hear you. Here we go. Look at all the tigers prowling and prowling, prowling and prowling, prowling and prowling. Look at all the tigers prowling and prowling, stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to, to, to. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. All right, this next picture is going to show a king cobra. A king cobra is a snake and snakes slither. They don't have any arms or legs. So if you've got the space, get down on your bellies and be a snake. Here we go. Look at all the snakes slithering and slithering, slithering and slithering, slithering and slithering. Look at all the snakes slithering and slithering. We can stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to, to, to. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Oh, our next animal happens to be the bald eagle. And an eagle is a big bird. In fact, where I go on vacation every year to this beautiful lake called Afterglow, a lot of times we will see the eagles perched up in the trees and then they spread their wings and they're gliding over the lake looking for their fish dinner. So spread your wings, my scholars, and let's be an eagle. All the eagles flying and flying, flying and flying, flying and flying. Look at all the eagles flying and flying. We can stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to, to, to. We're going to the zoo. going to be crocodiles right now. Crocodiles have big mouths and lots of teeth. So make sure that you are going to either open your mouth here or you're going to take your hands and pretend that it is a mouth and you're opening it. Let's be crocodiles. Look at all the crocodiles opening their mouths, opening their mouths opening their mouths. Look at all the crocodiles opening their mouths. We can stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to, to, to. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Let's sing that one more time. Here we go. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. I could see you right now pretending to be a crocodile or an eagle or a snake or an elephant. That would have been so much fun. But we've got some other things that we get to do today. So remember at the very beginning of music, I said we had our devotion, All Creatures of Our God and King, and I said, oh, uh, we're going to talk about God's creation, not just animals, but we're going to talk about some plants right now. I want to sing a song called The Valley of Vegetables. 
And the part that you sing is very, very easy. It goes like this. In the valley of vegetables, in the valley of vegetables, where the garden is always full, in the valley of vegetables. Try and sing that with me right now. Here we go, in the valley of vegetables. In the valley of vegetables, in the valley of vegetables, where the garden is always full, in the valley of vegetables. All right, well, I just happen to have some seed packets with me right now, and I'm going to show you one of these packets, one of my favorite vegetables, beans. Oh, those green beans. They're so delicious no matter how you eat them. So we're going to sing about beans right now and here we go. Beans. You can eat green beans. Just can't eat green beans. They make you go mm, 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 mm. in the valley of vegetables. In the valley of where the garden is always full in the valley of vegetables hope you were singing because now I've got another favorite one whether we eat them raw a lot of times we have them at school on our tray or we eat them cooked they taste so delicious they are carrots again one of my favorite vegetables so here we go. Let's sing about those carrots. Carrots, you can't eat those carrots. Just can't eat those carrots. They make you go crunch, 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 crunch. In the valley of vegetables, in the valley of vegetables, where the garden is always full, in the valley of vegetables. Another one. Oh, I think you know what these are. Pumpkins. They don't always taste so good just like the raw pumpkin, but when you take it and cook it up and then maybe put it in a pie, mmm, yummy, yummy. So let's sing about those pumpkins. Here we go. Pumpkins, you can eat those pumpkins. Just can't beat those pumpkins. They make you go. Mm, 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 mm. In the valley of vegetables. In the valley of vegetables. Where the garden is always full. In the valley of vegetables. Oh, here's one that we love to eat in summer. And that happens to be corn, especially like it shows in the picture, corn on the cob. Oh, put some butter on, put some salt. Some people like pepper on it. Yummy, yummy. No matter how you eat it, it's so delicious. Corn, you can't eat that corn. Just can't beat that corn. It makes you go. Grab your corn on the cob. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. In the valley of vegetables, in the valley of vegetables, where the garden is always full, in the valley of vegetables. Well, this next vegetable is one that I did not like when I was your age, but then when I got older, I really, really liked them. I don't necessarily eat them plain, but I like to put them on hamburgers or hot dogs or in a lots of different lots of different meals that I make even with other vegetables. Yes, it's the onion. And if you've ever seen an onion when you cut it open, it can make you do something, which is what I'm going to do in just a moment. Let's see if you can guess what it is. Onions. You can eat those onions. Just can't beat those onions. They make you go ooh, 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 ooh. in the valley of vegetables. In the valley of vegetables, where the garden is always full. In the valley of vegetables. One more. 
one more. Oh, I know some of you like these and some of you probably don't. It's going to be peppers, hot peppers. And you know what hot peppers do to you. So get ready at the appropriate time. Peppers, here we go. Peppers, you can eat hot peppers. Just can't eat hot peppers. They make you go. <laughs> In the valley of vegetables. In the valley of vegetables. Where the garden is always full. In the valley of vegetables. In the valley of vegetables. In the valley of vegetables. Where the garden is always full. In the valley of vegetables. Oh, singing about those vegetables makes me hungry. Wonder what vegetable I'm going to have tonight. I know for sure I'm going to have onions, and I know for sure I'm going to have some lettuce. Hmm, we'll see what else. Well, it's that time when I get to share one of my books with you. And you know we've had a theme today about Oh, creatures and plants in God's creation. We, we've had that word, Alleluia, where praise the name of God. And I'm going to praise the name of God for even the animals that you're going to see. Oh, even little Lassie here, who's trying to jump up on my lap, and I can't let her because I otherwise I can't hold the book. But it's our fun book, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Cow. Ooh, let's see what else she swallows. You know, it's always a mystery. And what happens at the very end? Oh, this one I really like. So here we go. Lassie, you're going to have to listen to the song as well. There was an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know why she swallowed a cow. But she did it somehow. There was an old lady who swallowed some hay. It made her day to swallow the hay. She swallowed the hay to feed the cow. I don't know why she swallowed the cow, but she did it somehow. There was an old lady who swallowed a pig. She danced a jig while she swallowed the pig. She swallowed the pig to play in the hay. She swallowed the hay to feed the cow. I don't know why she swallowed the cow, but she did it somehow. There was an old lady who swallowed a duck. It took some luck to swallow that duck. She swallowed the duck to chase the pig. She swallowed the pig to play in the hay. She swallowed the hay to feed the cow. I don't know why she swallowed the cow, but she did it somehow. There was an old lady who swallowed a horse. It took some force to swallow that horse. She swallowed the horse to cheer on the duck. She swallowed the duck to chase the pig. She swallowed the pig to play in the hay. She swallowed the hay to feed the cow. I don't know why she swallowed the cow, but she did it somehow. There was an old lady who swallowed a sheep. She collapsed in a heap when she swallowed the sheep. She swallowed the sheep to sing with the horse. She swallowed the horse to cheer on the duck. She swallowed the duck to chase the pig. She swallowed the pig to play in the hay. She swallowed the hay to feed the cow. I don't know why she swallowed the cow, but she did it somehow. There was an old lady who swallowed a fiddle. 
it was quite the riddle, her swallowing a fiddle. By the way, fiddle is another name for a violin. Just then a rooster crowed, cock-a-doodle-doo, and out flew the animals two by two. Around the farm they began to prance. Get ready. And do see -si do at the barnyard square dance. And that's the end. Wow, look at all those things the old lady swallowed just so she could have a dance. Wow, I'm closing the book. Do you remember? All the things the old lady swallowed. Hmm. Think. And I'll say one. And let's see if you remembered it. A cow. Some hay. A pig. A duck. A horse. A sheep. What's the last thing she swallowed? You guess the fiddle, you're right. What's the other name for the fiddle? Violin. Excellent. Wow. Great work, everybody. Well, those are our songs that I have for you today. We had quite the theme going on. Just remember, Alleluia. Praise the name of God. We praise God for all the wonderful things we can eat, all the plants, and praise the name of God for all those wonderful creatures in our world as well. So, of course, you know what we have to do right now. We do have to sing goodbye, everybody. So, here's my wave, and I hope you're waving at me as well. Let's sing. Goodbye, everybody. Yes, indeed. forward to our next time together.